My name's Lara. I'm a dual Canadian British national, currently living in the UK, but I move over to Canada on the 19th of November 2022. So just over three months time. Um, I'm going with my husband, our two dogs, my mum and dad are moving over and three cats. So we're all packing up and going and we can't wait we're so excited and I'm going to be documenting the whole thing on YouTube um, in case anyone is watching it but also just for our own memories to remember what it was like to move all the way from the UK to Canada um, and then before we go and before I do start documenting the whole proper move I just wanted to just film a couple of like helpful videos um, to help to just help with the whole you know, for other people that are thinking of moving from the UK or from wherever to Canada, or it might even help if you're thinking of moving anywhere overseas. Um, so yeah, I will film a couple of videos before we start the whole moving process and the moving videos too. So the video I'm filming today, which I thought would be helpful, is like a kind of tips video on how to decide where to live in Canada. Um, obviously it's such a huge country, um, and I think if you're looking at it, decided you wanted, wanted to move to Canada and then you're looking at it as a whole, it can be quite overwhelming because it's just so big. Sometimes you don't really know where to start. So I'm just going to be sharing some hopefully helpful <laughs> tips on um, that will help you decide where to settle down in Canada. Um, so I'll start by just briefly explaining how I decided where we want to go in Canada and then I'll move on to the helpful tips. So for me, it was quite easy to decide where we wanted to live in Canada. Um, and for background, that's because my mum is Canadian. She was born in Prince George, British Columbia. That's obviously how I've got dual nationality. So when I was born, I got Canadian citizenship from my mum, British citizenship from my dad. Um, but because I was born outside of Canada, I had to just apply for a citizenship certificate for Canada and that's valid from the day that I was born. So that's how I've got dual nationality. Um, and Canada's always been in our lives because my mum is born in Prince George, British Columbia. So my mum and dad met in California because my mum was studying fashion design at university in Long Beach. It's not there anymore. I can't remember what it was called. But she was studying fashion design there and my dad was training for the sailing olympics so they met in california my dad moved back to the uk and then my mum moved over to the uk to be with him which is how she ended up in the uk their plan was originally like they came over to the uk and then within a couple of years they were going to move back to canada um but they just got really settled with jobs and then when I was about four and my brother was two they were going to move us over to Nelson, British Columbia but they didn't so yeah that's how they met that's why we're over here and then <laughs> this is leading on to how I decided where to move, move in Canada sorry I know I said it would be brief it's I just tend to ramble um so yeah <laughs> so because my mum moved over to the UK um, and all her family was still in Canada. It involved a lot of trips to over to Canada. Um, by the point when we were children and visiting Canada, her, her mum and dad, my granny and grandpa, had moved down from Prince George to Oliver, British Columbia. So we would fly over to Vancouver, spend a couple days with my mum's best friend who lived in Vancouver at the time, and then we would go and spend two to three weeks with my granny and grandpa in Oliver, British Columbia. And while we were in Oliver, we would spend a lot of time driving to Penticton, which is about a 35 to 40 minute drive from Oliver. And yeah, just had so many good memories of being in Penticton as a child. And I knew I wanted to be in the Okanagan um, because it's got quite mild winters for Canada, which is a big thing for me. I don't want to be somewhere where it's really, really, really super cold personally. And then it's got nice warm summers, but I mean, most of Canada has nice warm summers anyway. Um, so yeah, I knew I wanted to be in the Okanagan and I knew I really liked Penticton and had a lot of childhood memories there. So that's how I personally decided where I wanted to go in Canada. And now I'll move on to the tips of how somebody looking at Canada brand new could try and decide where to live. 
and I'm going to mention quite a few things that my husband looked into when I suggested moving to Penticton. Um, yeah, and how he figured out he would be okay there. I'll probably do like a separate video on why we decided to move to Canada, um, but I won't do that now. <laughs> so tip number one, I would say, so you've decided that you want to live in Canada. I would say to look at the country as a whole and personally, if I was doing it, looking at it brand new and didn't have any idea where I wanted to go, I would decide which province I wanted to be in first because obviously there's so many provinces across the whole country. So I think you need to like decide what you want out of Canada first. So do you want like mountains and nature and that? You're best off in British Columbia or Alberta around the Rockies. Do you want like prairies and loads of space? So maybe like Eastern Alberta, Saskatchewan, Manitoba, there's lots of prairies and space there. Do you want like lots of lakes? I know Ontario has loads and loads of lakes and it's close, I mean, oh, I'm sorry, my dog's interrupting me. Come here. Hello. So this is one of them. This is Piper and you're going to move all the way to Canada, aren't you? And I can hear the other one coming up. Is she going to come? Hello. Hi. Here's the other one. Oh, look at them. Look at them, they're so cute. Oh my goodness me. Ooh. Sorry about that. So yeah, I know there's lots of lakes in Ontario. And I was going to say it's something really stupid. I was going to say it's close to the US border, but obviously every province pretty much borders the US. Um, but yeah, do you want that kind of thing? Do you maybe want a sort of European, maybe French kind of feeling? You could go to Manitoba. Do you want like maritime coastline? Then maybe somewhere like Nova Scotia, Prince Edward Island. So I think maybe use that as a starting point and then you can decide on a province and then you can look within the province more closely. So once you've got a province in mind, what I would then do is I would look at all the big cities within that province, not because I'm saying, you know, you might not want to move to a big city, but I'll use British Columbia as an example because I'm like my mum, I'm a BC girl. All my time in Canada has been spent in BC, apart from when I've been in Banff and the Rockies in Alberta. Although I so want to visit the other provinces. One of the first ones we want to go to when we move over is um, Nova Scotia. I just think it is so beautiful over there. But anyway, I'm rambling again, I told you. Whenever I talk about Canada, I just don't seem to stop. Um, so yeah, I'll use British Columbia as an example of why I mean to look at the bigger cities within the province first. So. So say, so say you've decided on British Columbia, and if you look at all the big cities there, so it will bring up like Vancouver, it will probably bring up Prince George, Kelowna, possibly Kamloops, um, Chilliwack, that kind of thing. What you can do is, within that big city, look at other smaller cities or towns or villages that are nearby, and then you can look into detail on each one um, to see if they have the kind of thing that you're looking for in the place that you want to live. So, you know, like if you were looking at Kelowna, for example, that's a big city within the Okanagan. You might want a big city, but um, if not, you could look at other smaller cities around there, like um, Penticton, Vernon, or you could also look at the really sm the places that are a lot smaller, like Oliver. Soyuz is a lot smaller so that kind of thing so then it just I think by looking at the big cities you can look at other places around there and it's kind of easier to find out cities and towns in Canada just because it is so so big so yeah I would then put that as my second point I'm really sorry if you can hear my dog in the background Piper I can see her in her little bed rolling around so sorry if she makes noise. <laughs> so yeah, once you've kind of had a look at smaller towns or cities or big cities and what they offer, you can then kind of think about what you want in the place that you live and to see if these places have it. So like for example, when I suggested Penticton to my husband, he knew the sort of things that he would want in a place where he would be happy to live there. So like he wanted a gym, a cinema, bars, restaurants, places where he could like watch events, that kind of thing. So yeah, I just think 
figure out what you know the things that you want nearby to you that would make you happy and you can check if these places have them and then that would also help you in making a decision of of where to maybe start looking another good point is if you look at jobs in the area or you know in the town or within the area just to make sure that the place that you're looking at does offer the kind of work that you're looking to go into because obviously that's quite important as well I mean I know the job market's pretty good in Canada so you shouldn't have an issue but just just to make sure that there the line of work that you're in or whatever that there are available jobs um, where you're looking to live <laughs> something else my husband did with um, Penticton and where we live now in the UK is there was like a cost of living comparison website I'm not sure what it's called I'll try and get him to find it and I'll link it below but like you can just sort of compare costs of different things of the place that you're looking to move compared to where you live now I mean obviously some things are going to be more expensive in Canada some other things hello Pepper might be more expensive in the UK I knew you were going to do that I'm trying to film a video how can I help people if you're always barking at the door um I completely forgot what I was gonna say <laughs> sorry I'm gonna try and wrap this up quickly because Piper is um wanting attention aren't you um so yeah some things will be more expensive in Canada some things will be more expensive in um the UK and vice versa but it's just quite I thought it was quite a good idea just to kind of have a rough idea in mind of how much things cost in <coughs> city or town <laughs> stop it stop it stop it okay so i'm just going to mention this last um tip really really quickly um this one isn't a necessity um i mean none of these are necessities they're just things that i'm saying that are hopefully helpful um but if you can and if cost permits it i would really recommend if you're able to being able to just visit that place um before you do move there just to to sort of give yourself an idea of like the way of life and what it's like there um because when I suggested the Canada move to my husband and we spoke about Penticton he said he would need to visit it first before he made a final decision um and obviously he did go there and he loved it and we're going ahead with our move but um yeah just it just kind of gives you a bit of an idea of what it actually is like there but it's not necessary at all because I know so many people have never even been to Canada before and they move there and everything's exciting because you're just you know you're like you're learning everything as you go and it's all new and exciting so it's not necessary at all um it's just if if you can if costs and time allows it then it's just quite nice to be able to visit there before but it's not necessary at all so yeah I think that's everything I was going to say I hope that's helpful in some kind of way to as like a starting point of looking at different cities towns and that because it it is so huge um, and all the provinces are so different um, so yeah that is how I would start looking at it is by province and figuring out what you want and then you can go from there so yeah I hope this was helpful I'll try and film another video soon. I mean, to be honest, most of the videos are going to come once we get closer to November and we really are into the move and like a lot of the videos will come once we are over in Canada, but anything that I can pre-film here before we go that I think will be helpful, I will do. The next video I film might be why we decided to move to Canada, but at the same time, I don't know if I should do that until we're actually there. Maybe I should. I don't know. I'll film something soon. But yeah, I hope this is helpful and thank you so much for watching. Bye!